Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll discuss about how do you select a technology for your future. Few years back you know it was very easy to select a technology because we were having limited options right we were having cloud computing we were having android development we were having web development and then things were a bit easy. Now apart from development we were having testing we were having the support work right so if you are interested in testing of course you will go for testing if you are interested in development again in that option we have let's say if you love mobile phones or if you want to work in a consumer market you may go for android or web development if you want to go for the enterprise market of course you will work on some advanced frameworks right but now in this year things are a bit difficult right because we have so many options now thanks to these new terms like blockchain machine learning what to select right now these two are very hot now machine learning and blockchain most of the people they are moving towards machine learning because it sounds great and then people who are not familiar with blockchain there are certain companies who are promoting blockchain a lot and that's why people are moving towards that as well how do you know which is best suited for you? In fact, I get this question a lot of time on YouTube, on Facebook, in fact, in mails as well. And it is actually very difficult for me to answer that because I cannot simply say, hey, go for blockchain. I cannot simply say, hey, go for Android because if it is something is good for me, it may not be good for you, right? Example, if I love blockchain, maybe it will not suit you because I have a different background. I have a different way of thinking towards technology and you might be having something different. Example, if you are a hardcore Android developer, I cannot simply ask you to go for machine learning. It may not suit you. You can excel in Android itself, right? So how do you select something? Now to answer this question, we have a very simple sentence, which is be a jack of all and master of one. Because no one can ask you to do something. Example, if someone says, hey, go for machine learning, how do you know it will suit you? So the best option is learn everything. Okay, because we have so many options, right? We have machine learning, we have blockchain, we have cloud computing, we have Android, we have web development, and then there are so many options. So the best way is if you are a beginner, always start from everything, okay? So learn everything in a small format, okay? Not entire subject or not the entire topic in a small way. So let's say for one week or 15 days, go for Android, okay? Learn Android basics and see if this clicking you, okay? It may not click you on the same day or in the same week. Maybe after some time, you know, your brain works in that way. So if you consume a lot of data, all these things become fragments and then after some time, things get connected, you know? So they start connecting dots and maybe after some time, it will, something will click. So learn Android for 15 days, learn Java for 15 days, learn Python for 15 days. In fact, learning Java, Python, and JavaScript is no more a luxury. You know, earlier time when you used to say, hey, you know Java, life is set. You know, if you know Android, everything is good. But nowadays it has become a necessity. Example, if you want to go for machine learning, you should be knowing Python. If you want to go for enterprise market, you should be knowing Java. So why to wait, you know, I will learn Python after five years or one year. It's very easy, right? So make sure that your basics are clear. Example, you, the way you learn maths, the way you learn different subjects, learn language like Python, Java, understand networking. So make sure your basics are clear and then learn all this technology for let's say two weeks. So spend two weeks on Android, spend two weeks on machine learning. Of course, you will not learn everything in two weeks. You will not even touch the base of it, but at least you will get the gist of it. Okay, what exactly the technology is. I've seen people focusing only on one technology. Maybe it's good for them, but after some Sometimes if you feel, hey, something is not getting connected. So what else you have now, right? So if you have options, you know, if you know different technologies, it will be helpful for you to understand which technology to select. The second reason is why you should learn all, at least the basics is, all these technologies are related in some way. Example, maybe in future, there will be some application which will be based on blockchain and machine learning. Maybe there will be some applications where you have to run your blockchain on cloud, right? So if you know both, it will be advantage for you. Of course, your mastery will be at one place but if you know the surrounding part it will be helpful for you to excel in that particular field okay so which one to select is all depend upon you you need to decide what you want to be in future so for that the basic step is learn everything basics okay so if you have options so take a book okay in that book just write whatever you want to be example if you want to be an uh, android developer if you want to learn blockchain write everything okay and then to spend time so of course you can prioritize it let's say i will learn android first then i will go for web development then i will learn about cloud computing then i will learn about maybe blockchain or then i will learn about machine learning so write everything prioritize it 
okay and then spend time maybe you can learn two technologies at the same time you know morning evening that's your choice okay everyone have their different way of learning okay some people cannot multitask like me so i have to spend let's say if i'm working on python i will complete the entire python first if then i will learn blockchain that's how you have to do so learn the basics and then it will click trust me it works in that way you can also talk to people who are into industry okay maybe uh, if you get a chance linkedin is the best place to be go to linkedin search for people who are doing machine learning and talk to them okay uh, maybe they will not answer but some people do okay so you can be thankful to them uh, and then ask them you know what exactly you can do after learning machine learning what projects you can build so that's how you can sell your technology so there are so many options don't just believe in one person if someone says hey go for machine learning go for blockchain don't do that learn everything and then decide one which you want to go for so i hope this video was helpful let me know in the comment section and if you have some more questions let me know so that i can make a separate video on that so that's it everyone Bye-bye.